Good afternoon, members. Welcome to the third technical session of the day, LFR, LFAR reporting. I request our vice chairman, Pramod Arigde, to welcome Premnath, sir. With a floral bouquet. CA Premnath B is a FCA, DSA. FAFD and is a Bachelor of Commerce from Sri Venkata Swara University, Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh. He is a partner of MC Ramchandra and Co. He has conducted various internal audit and forensic audit of large manufacturing in, uh, infrastructure software PSU companies. He is a bank uh, in bank banking division. He has, he has been the central statutory auditor bank statutory auditor, concurrent auditor, and revenue audits. He has represented his clients in front of various income tax uh, forums, international and transfer pricing forums. He designs and reviews the standard operating procedures and as a part of SAP implementation audit. He has carried out various forensic assignments of MNCs and large manufacturing companies is a peer reviewer and ICA FRRB technical reviewer. He has conducted various programs at various seminars held by ICI. He is a regular visiting faculty at Income Tax Department Staff College, Hyderabad, GST Central and State Hyderabad on GST Fraud Analytics, C and AG Staff Training Hyderabad, National Institute of Rural Development on Tools and Techniques of Internal Audit, Central Vigilance Officer on Digital Forensics, IDBA, Andhra Bank, Indian Bank, Staff Training Institute, Review of Annual Returns from Lenders Perspective. I welcome you, sir. Over to you, sir. respected senior members, branch management committee members, my dear colleagues. <coughs> At the outset, I thank uh, Hyderabad branch management committee members for giving me this, sorry, Bangalore branch. Uh, management committee for giving me this opportunity <coughs> way back uh, they have called me somewhere in uh, December 23rd if I can remember then they have asked my date and so uh, happy that this was the first uh, session got booked but it came into the last one <coughs> okay so I uh, since it is more of practical demonstration. I uh, will make uh, my presentation by sitting in front of you so that uh, it will not be set up will not be a hindrance to you. If it is a regular uh, PowerPoint then it doesn't make much difference. It's more of Excel and then various combinations I will be using it. <laughs> Anyhow, you have a privilege of uh, sitting after the lunch. Let me also have the same uh, privilege. And most unfair is the speaker who comes on the after the lunch. The participants have the privilege of relaxing. So I don't know how much to eat. You will provide a very good lunch. But I don't know how much to eat. More I eat, less I concentrate on the... You might have seen, instead of saying Bangalore, uh, the food made me to say Hyderabad. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me... Uh, I'll... You can, as long as 
my voice is not disturbing you can go into the usual mood of after lunch what happens you can carry out i'll try and see my voice doesn't disturb you so let me just come on to the uh, stage then audible the objectives of today's session we all consciously or unconsciously make this statement we have conducted our audit in accordance with standards of audible if i can disturb your sleep can you go back to which paragraph of audit report so for your conven convenience i'll let me just take this to heart this is where we make this statement part of audit report we have conducted our audit in accordance with this consciously speaking how many of us can substantiate consciously speaking how many of us can substantiate with this statement with this statement if not for any audit at least for bank audit <laughs> for any audit for that matter or is there a tool where is there a tool where we can try to use it to comply with maximum part of auditing standards maximum part of auditing standards yes that tool is excel day four yesterday night institute has released one excel statement which is more or less trying to cover but similar kind of uh, but similar kind of excel file i have distributed even in the last session here which can be used for documentation which will cover more or less the um, compliances to substantiate the statement what i have just now shown you so what is there in audit on one side of coin because it is equally important one side of coin i have to demonstrate audit strategy planning procedure and documentation audit strategy planning procedure and documentation i need to substantiate on other side of coin what procedures how those procedures all those procedures are none other than the analyticals analytics 
analytics for gathering evidence, analytics for substantiating, analytics for control testing, analytics for details testing, transaction testing, etc. So wherein Excel can be used and that can be brought well into one single Excel file. As we go on, as we go on, I'll try to demonstrate that. Okay, having said this, the second um, component what I said is analytics. Analytics is for what? Basically the audit, in the audit we are saying true and fair. The statements are true and fair. That statements are true and fair which are generated with the proper internal control systems. Meaning the books of accounts were prepared with a proper internal control systems. So I need to validate two important things. One, true and fair. Two, internal control. Both I have to talk about. If we come back to the bank audit, we are certifying internal financial controls. Talking about controls, we are certifying LF, in LFAR, we are trying to give, we are trying to validate the internal controls system through a document called LFAR. We are talking about so many questions are answered, which gives comfort to the regulator that the internal control mechanism is working properly. Meaning an additional document, like in Corporates, we give a caro, we also give an IFC to give, we are giving an extra comfort to the user with, with these documents. In addition to SA 700, we are giving so many other documents to give an extra comfort. So whether that extra comfort, what we are giving, how do I validate those content? Where should I conduct this research? that research needs to be conducted on the data, digital data. So on the digital data, I will be conducting some research, analysis as per SA 520 and so on. Why I am conducting that research? To validate that the internal controls are effective, number one, that the content generated by the systems, which I say true and fair, is also effective. For that purpose, I am using data analytics. Data analytics on what? On the data. Where is this data? Hidden in the CBS. How do I carry out archeological survey on this three softwares? The Institute has given an excellent material through March 2023 journal. March 2023 journal, you can download immediately. Five pages of content. Five pages, just five pages of content. Twenty twenty three. These are the three major softwares. And in these softwares, how do I jump into it and extract the files so that on that files I have to conduct the research. Those files, three softwares and three softwares, Pinnacle, you know, which is covering uh, major banks. So balance sheet wise, assets wise, they have given the reports menu commands. These menu commands can be used with the auditors login only. So first thing what we need to have, we need to have an auditor's login. So the moment we get the bank audit appointment letter, first thing we should shoot out to them is audit acceptance along with audit engagement letter, SA 200, 210, 220. So there is a big format, I'll share that. Be that as it is, I'll come back to it a little later. So in that audit engagement letter, you should write, please provide the auditor's login. Normally they will resist because he feels uh, system is his wife. He doesn't want anyone to touch it. He feels that is his personal property. 
okay to that extent it is good so much of care is taking that much of care he should have taken on loans and advances also but not okay coming back here finacle okay what about others banks b a n c s s b i indian bank allahabad bank and so on kenra bank flexi cube these reports how to generate these reports where these reports are are given here so if i if you want me to read out all these things i'll read out definitely i'm sure that you will go into deep sleep and then into coma also because without cbs what is the fun of reading out all this but where to once you have these things uh, commands you can easily operate it that's not a big task right so with this commands i will generate the reports on the reports we have to carry out some analysis so for that analysis some formulas has to be used that formulas are not very big formulas where not a big technology lunch time summer was saying that no you in this age you are mastering this technology all nothing no i am using for the past 20 years if someone who is following me carefully from 20 years they will agree that i am only talking about five formulas this year i have just added one more those formulas are sort filter if condition we look up and pivot table 99% of the forensics or frauds can be broken with just five formulas this is enough those who are well versed in analytics those who are well versed in forensic i hope they agree with me there is nothing to go beyond this five this is not like launching 104 satellites with one rocket no not that difficulty only five this year i have added financial modeling i'll come back to it so first thing using the institute material download the files on that files validate with these commands okay in the process i am damn sure you will encounter various deviations and all those deviations study for npa documentation deficiency non compliances further look at the root cause look at the root cause for root cause in the system in cbs which is allowing this to happen what kind of control deficiencies is making this deviation why should we do all this because i have to report in sa 700 lfr icofar gosh and jilani and other reports so what i am saying is system study how system study black box approach black box approach on the extracted files so let's take up small example just moment i'll just reopen these files again you know because this is connected on to the one drive so it's so uh, we have seen here uh, the institute i uh, let me call it as institute study material 2023 journal they are talking about some sma report they are talking about sm npa report and loan balancing file 
the content given in loan balance file and NPA report and SMA report, there is a common field. What is that common field in all the three, sir? Sir? Account number. Yeah. Meaning members are responding means the quality of lunch it is reflecting. You are waking. You are answering means you didn't have good, good lunch. Why you have not had means the quality is not that. Am I right, sir? No. <laughs> Very difficult question because we can't say something unfair, no? Quality is good. Yeah. Coming back here, account number is common. Why, why should I bother? What am I trying to validate here? I am trying to validate the content in all these three files is relevant or not. How? Loan balancing file in some of the some banks loan balancing file you don't find the status whether it is sma 0 1 2 you don't find that in npa report you don't find the sma in sma report you don't find what is structured what is standard or substandard and all meaning there are three different reports are generated but the though you have a common field called account number the content is different Content is so different that if you, if you read with magnifying glass, the NPA, the account which is NPA, in the loan balancing file, it will not show that it is NPA account. I'll demonstrate that. So I've just taken three different reports. So three different reports put into three different sheets, standard assets, substandard, doubtful, loss assets, et cetera, et cetera. And this is loan balancing file. Taken all into one place. So by the way, any report you take, please take 12 months reports. I've just put it even in the, in my material, I've just said, Extract, always extract 12 months of reports. Combine all the 12 months into one sheet and then use these very small features called sort, filter, pivot, whatever, and observe the deviations, right? Come back again. So I've taken here, you can see here, April month and so on, right? Now let me, let me just take you here. This is a loan balancing file. Now to this I have started attaching probable NPA, substandard, standard, substandard, doubtful and loss assets from different using VLOOKUP. You, this, there is another method of instead of using VLOOKUP, you can also paste one below another. Paste all loan balancing file below that standard, substandard, doubtful, SMA, all that you can paste one below another in such a way that the column contents are similar. So that you can use PIO table. I'll not take you all those processes, but okay. You can use VLOOKUP. Okay, now I said there is some deviation. Let us see that. So now I am taking here, this is sorted on month wise. Look at the advantage of putting all 12 months into one place. data, sort, sort not month wise, but on customer number wise. Yeah. So now I have sorted it on customer number wise. So what does it say? For all the 12 months, for all the 12 months, you will get how the loan is behaving. If the outstanding balance is increasing, what do you say? Non-performing. But when this is increasing, whether the content which is saying here EMI over EMI due, EMI paid, EMI overdue, whether this is also moving according to that, it will not move. Reason is that independent reports are structured every month 
the branch manager is there in the branch for 30 years. We are there in the branch only for three days honeymoon package. So he has much knowledge because he is there one, every day he is there. He understands what we look at. So he will change, change in the sense he will try to reface, reschedule the account so that it doesn't come and sit into the EMI overdues. That working will be done every quarter, more specifically from February onwards, that their job is to see that the EMI's overdue doesn't go beyond. I'll demonstrate that also. So what am I saying here? I am trying to now validate whether this data given here is correct. Whether the data generated here, theoretical balance, is this correct? We'll try to validate that. Okay, let us start now. I'll just put a filter here. Filter. I'll remove blanks for probable NPAs. An account which is probable NPA is also there in the standard asset. Possible? Possible? Possible. Well, but now I'll just remove this blanks. Okay, let me just remove all this. I'll take here and then we'll come back to this as well. Is this possible? How can it be probable NPA and also substandard? You understand the inconsistencies? Probable NPA is a report that is already generated by them and then I brought it into VLOOKUP but I have not used VLOOKUP. As I told you one below another I have used it and then while pulling it into Power Pivot it has created the uh, formulas. Uh, yes, they should find it in. I'll come back to that. While we are reading this, we should find out. And you can see here, because it is substandard, it has already said here EMI is 3, 3, 2 and all. How can it be 3, 2 when it is substandard? How can it be EMI is 2? Overdue is two. It should be more. Yeah. yeah. Meaning what, sir? This is clearly indicating that you cannot rely on the reports generated by the branches. Which report? Individually looking at reports, you may rely. But when you are combining it for all the 12 months, it is trying to show some inconsistencies. This is what I am saying, analytics, to understand what is making this kind of deviations or differences. We need to study this. And all that study boils down to only one thing called term loans or refaced, rescheduled, evergreened, ever and ever, they evergreen. Okay, is it a crime? Not a crime. Is it permitted? RBI says do not re, uh, evergreen it. Okay, you do evergreening, no problem. But whenever you do evergreening, restructuring norms are there, which says when you are when you are facing from 120 to 170 months, you are refacing it. That 70 months, you are losing present value of cash. But future cash flows, the present value is lost. So what the RBI says is you get that money. 
from the borrower as a margin money. How much he can bring it, bring, let him bring. If he is not bringing it, make a provision this year. This is a compliance. Whether this compliance can, is taken care in CBS? Whether this is taken care in CBS? Is it taken care in CBS or other software? <coughs> no, sir. CBS doesn't talk about refacement. It is all manual interventions. System automatically doesn't reface it. Someone has to go there and put his finger and say this is NPA, this is refaced, this is restructured. He has to put some amounts so that system will pass that entries. Meaning? Manual interventions are there. If he doesn't do it, maker and checker. Punjab National Bank failed, Nirav Modi gone away. So there are so many manual procedures in, in this CBS. I'll, as we go on, you will appreciate all those things. So first, first one thing what we have done is we have made a simple analysis on different files to find out some deviations are going on. Let me just take one more file. Yes. You can see here April, uh, March month, April, May, June, July, all these 12 months of files which have been, for convenience sake, I put it into different files. But Power Pivot or Power Query, you put all that into one folder. In one folder you can put it. I am not going to take you into all those. Data, get data from folder. You dump all that files into folder. And one time, only one time, it will pull all the 12 files into Excel sheet. One site. So someone was saying, sir, whatever you are talking, is it possible in three days of bank audit? Yes, still you will, you will be left out with one more day. Two days you can complete the audit. You can. You may say that, sir, but for that data has to be made available, no? Yes, data has to be made available. But I can demonstrate in this laptop, I have 20 years of bank data in this file, in this laptop. 20 years, not one year, last year, last before year. You may ask me when I am trying, they are not giving. Maybe you, like in uh, uh, Kantara, you may have to sing a song there, Vara Harupam, <laughs> and then he may give you. I will sing not not song, and then I will get the song. So there is no standard format as to what song you have to sing there to get the data. You have to get the data, that's all. Take the help of Auditing standards, that is what I said, write engagement letter. Audit engagement letter, make it, you give them that unless you provide me all this data, audit engagement letter, unless you provide me this 96 pieces of information, I will not able to start the audit. Why this 96 pieces of information? Why? I am not going mad. I say, if I have to talk about LFAR, if I have to talk about concurrent audit, without he providing me the 12 months of concurrent audit reports, how can I express an opinion? In the LFAR, where in LFAR? 7A. Like that, I have given reference to, for whatever data I am asking, I am relating it to, some point or other. Now without this, can we carry out the audit, sir? No, we still, we still say control A, control C, control V. We say here, along with all these things, we say somewhere, we have obtained all the necessary informations and explanation. Am I right, sir? We are saying here. 
and we are saying satisfactory <clears throat> now this is what control a control c control v audit of course we are nowadays using control f and control h find and replace okay so to this what is the that is what that is what i have been started with here how do you substantiate what you have written in the how do you substantiate what you have written in sa 700 how do you substantiate what tool we have today the tool is excel what we are discussing now yeah coming back again term loans right so let us come back to this 12 months of files i have taken it i have now combined all the 12 months data i have combined like what we have seen when i have combined it you can see here one account wise i have sorted it i have sorted account number wise if i have sorted it account number wise then you can make lot of analysis you can see here the diminishing balance is going on increasing when the diminishing balance is increasing now whether the emi due emi paid emi overdue is also changing accordingly because it is a standard report generated for that particular month you have brought it here for a combined analysis now all those anomalies are coming out now look at here so when the when this is going on increasing what should happen to the emi is overdue should have increased it is not increasing what is wrong okay be that so since i have combined all sorry sir ah month wise sorted so month wise when i have sorted it april may month your outstanding has increased four months he has not paid any installment so it is increased when it has increased what has happened okay come back now so now having taken all the 12 months can i prepare a report in pio table like this month all loan hold all loans which is running into something like 1300 accounts and this is month wise i have arranged in pio table this is how it looks like so i have taken the rows here rows is account number columns is report date 12 months report is here the 12 months you have defined here you have defined here 12 months so this you have dragged it here then this is the interest rate now 12 months of interest whether it is uniform throughout the year for all the borrowers you can see here from august to september it has changed it has changed here one percentage reduced 12.8 to 12.7 but for him why it is increased from 10.55 sorry decreased from 10.55 to 10.45 is it uniform no then some products have a uniform rate now why is this changing the discretionary power is used by the branch manager whether that discretion is as per the documentation policies procedures is it controlled by cbs or manual manual if it is manual maker and checker will fail and that is the reason why they have a revenue audit and they say ours is a cbs completely computerized no need for any branch audits from next year and they say no no revenue audit is required when your cbs is such a wonderful package why do you need okay now for certain customers nothing is given here why for certain customers certain months nothing is given why did you make zero there is it a fault in the cbs or fault in the report generation we have to see that and that's what i am saying that is what i am saying again and again make data analytics 
enquire for the deviations. Coming back again. Okay, this is one issue. Now, further. Okay, like this, how many, how much of analysis you can make, how many number of columns you have, that much analysis can be done. Okay, so I'll just take out the report uh, interest rate and then let me just pull. Let me pull the EMIs overdue into this. So I have pulled EMIs overdue. And last column you have uh, grand total. Right? On this grand total, I am just sorting from largest to smallest. What is the implication of this? How do you understand this data now? How do you understand this? Can the total be 195 for all the months? Can it be? No. Meaning what? How much is greater than how much if it is greater than can be taken as an NPA, all the totals put together for all the months, if it is overdue, for every month it is 3333 months overdue, 12, 3 is 36, meaning can I filter it here greater than 36? And then go back to the NPA report and see whether all these cases have been marked as NPAs or not. I hope you are able to understand. Follow me. Yeah, coming back again. This is, sir, all this analysis is within the report you are trying to make a research, within the report only. You are not going out of report. Now let us use outside formulas onto the same report and try to validate and see what can be the outcome of this. Now I'll make vertical analysis on one particular borrower will make some vertical analysis like from the sanction date to the date of audit. From the sanction date to the date of audit, number of EMIs, number of months, this formula you can calculate with dated if. So when I've used dated if from the date of sanction to the date of audit, it is coming 114. Now, from, for how many months this loan is given, the formula to be used is NPER. Now this is what I'm saying. Now we are going out of normal Excel formulas. We are going into formulas financial NPER. What is this NPER? It is saying returns the number of periods. Number of periods is number of months loan is given. Like 120, 180. Then for an investment based, in our case investment is loan sanction, sanction limit. On a periodic, constant payments is EMI. Constant interest rate, rate of interest. So if you have three components, number one, limit, number two, EMI amount, number three, rate of interest, you can calculate for which, for what period the loan has been given. Because that is not given in any of these reports. That is the beauty of CBS. Because if they give it, that day itself audit is over. You need not go into. You can easily find out. The number of EMIs as on this day is enough, no? In one minute you can complete the audit. All the 60-70% of term loans, you can close it in no time. And they know it. And hence they are not giving you that. But I have to find out how. NPER. And that NPR is saying 81 months is the loan period. But as on the date of audit, how many months it is? 114. How do you answer this? 
maximum you may say moratorium how much moratorium 24 months 36 months 48 months for education loan but is this an education loan no okay this is one validation two from the date of loan from the date of loan to the date of audit how much of interest he should have paid by this time c u m i p m t you can use this formula and get that amount and compare this amount with the cbs interest collected with the cbs interest collected compare both and if the amount is significant if the difference is significant Validate each such case for NPA. Third one, find out CUM, PRI, NC. Cumulative principal, how much he should have paid by this date till the date of loan, from the date of loan to this date of audit, how much of interest he should have paid? Sorry, principal he should have paid. That is CUM, PRI, NC. Now, you already have, now you can calculate theoretical balance. What is theoretical balance? Limit minus this principle that should have been paid. The difference is theoretical balance, how much it should be. That is already given here, theoretical balance. Whether this theoretical balance and the theoretical balance computed by the auditor is matching, compare. Further, you can also calculate the closing balance. Now, since you have opening balance minus theoretical balance, opening balance minus how much you should have computed, com uh, collected, naturally you will get the closing balance. Whether this closing balance is matching with the closing balance that is already given here? No. Compare. Then, The difference between theoretical balance and the balance, closing balance, divided by the EMI is greater than 3. They are all naturally probable NPS. So if I have done vertically for one account, can we compute the same formulas for all the 18,000 loan accounts or 1 lakh loan accounts or 1 crore loan accounts? Possible? Possible. And that's what I have done here. The yellow color shaded is what is computed for all the loans. Yeah, yeah, this is not my grandfather's property. This is meant for circulating only. Last time also I have done it. This time also I will very well do it. <coughs> Thank you. So coming back again. <coughs> coming back. So here you see number of months lapsed is 15. Long term is it is saying 200 and NPR is saying 280. Nowhere it is matching. When we have gone in depth and inquired, then he has said, sir, this is rescheduled, this is rescheduled, that is rescheduled, this is rescheduled. But then when you have rescheduled it, did you provide? Sir, no, no auditor has asked all these things, sir. Then he is doing bhajana to me. Uh, naturally, I will, what happened when someone is doing bhajana to me? Okay. So, what we have understood now is we are doc minded as we are going, as we are carrying out the audit, our documentation is unconsciously following us. We are not making any extra effort to document. Any extra effort. Wherever you go, Vodafone connections follow. Same way, you carry out the processes, automatically the documentation is moving.
अदरवाइज ऐसे 230 सेज यू आर गिवन 60 डेज ऑफ टाइम फॉर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन अरे बैंकर भी ला लो यू द मोमेंट योर डिजिटल सिग्नेचर इज हैंडेड ओवर टू यू इमीडिएटली इट इज ऑल अफिक्स्ड नेक्स्ट मोमेंट ही विल गेट अल्जमेर एंड आस्क हु आर यू व्हाई आर यू व्हाट आर यू डूइंग हियर सो दैट इज अ सिचुएशन सो कंसीडरिंग ऑल दोस वी नीड टू हैव अ टूल व्हिच विल एंश्योर दैट वी कैरी आउट द ऑडिट प्रोसेस एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन simultaneously okay so the first agenda is to analyze term loans which is around 60% of the time 60% of the advances are generally 50 to 60% <clears throat> then what is the other cc loans why they give cc loans every term loan fellow will have a cc loan also why sir so that they can debit every month for additional additional 90 days time is given to him okay <clears throat> now let's go on into the we have seen the term loans before we go into cc account we'll see the biggest nuisance in banks or frauds in just 5 years of time 4.96 crores of 4.96 lakh crores of amount got evaporated through frauds in just 5 years under which account under advances account 93% then 5% in off the balance sheet like cc guarantees all those put together so now we need to this is the high risk area now we have to understand the controls in this place let's come back to that controls so let us make some uh, sorry so this is cc account we are talking about uh, diversion of money and all this is a, a cc account of 70 borrowers cc account has been taken and i have sorted it 70 accounts 70 accounts of uh, cc has been uh, put it one below another one below another i have taken it the quality of food is affecting let me just walk for a while <coughs> so 70 accounts so 70 accounts has been put into one sheet right sir if 70 accounts are the only accounts in that branch i have now sorted it as account number wise i have sorted you call them as what sir if it is sorted account number wise for each account full year data next year full year data next full year data for each account so if you sort it account number wise what do we call it as ledger account ledger account so all the 70 ledger accounts have been bought into one simple excel sheet right if i sort the same content which has a date if i sort it on date wise for all the 70 accounts what do you call that statement as yes sir day book excellent so if you are able to sort the same file if you are able to sort the same file on date wise which i'll do it now date wise i have sorted it now this has become a day book of the branch now in this day book i can find out the largest amount on 16 or 1.68 is taken through rtgs and then it is going into multiple places here if i see these places then i'll find they are all grouped they are all grouped somewhere 
And you may ask me, how do you know they are all group companies? How do I, group or related parties, how do you, how do I find out group or related parties? You can see here, one customer, one phone number having multiple customer IDs. One phone number has multiple customer IDs. This is an indication that one person is controlling multiple accounts. One email ID controlling, one address, one date of birth, one PAN number, one Aadhaar number. To find out how much, how many accounts they are related. Now I am not going into related party definition of Companies Act, GST, no, Income Tax Act, no, no. I am only trying to see how many accounts are, in one of the cases it's, it has gone up With phone numbers we have tried, with phone numbers when we have tried, one phone number is linked to 185 accounts. It's not a crime, it's permitted. But auditor should have a professional skepticism. Auditor should have a professional skepticism. Why auditor should have a professional skepticism? Because in the auditing standards, 55 times in various auditing standards, 55 times this professional skepticism is repeated. And even in our SA 700 audit report, we are talking about this professional skepticism. That we say I have a professional skepticism and I have made a professional judgment. We make that statements. Of course, control A, control C, control V. And that is 55 times we are saying, what is this professional skepticism? Being alert to the conditions. What conditions? SA 240, 520, 315 has so many warning signals. In addition to that, in addition to that, RBI has released early warning signals of 45 fraud related. In addition to that, numerous forensic cases are there in the public domain. You visit CBI FIR website, there are more than 1,500 cases filed by, the, filed by the banks on various borrowers. 1,500 cases. The essence of all the 1,500 cases is three things. Number one, our internal control system is pathetic. Borrowers have robbed us. They have robbed through cash withdrawals and diversions to the related party. You read all the 1,500 forensic reports, the essence will be, to make you believe, let me just show you one, one, one report. You will find the statement on all the internal control weakness that allowed misappropriation. This, since this is a public document, I say this is by the Indian Overseas Bank. They are saying our internal control system is very weak. So much weak, they say the bank has accepted agriculture land as security for Sarfasi. Can Sarfasi initiate agriculture land? Yeah. No. They know? You know? I know. Banker? CBS doesn't know. Garbage in, garbage out. No. First of all, where is the control in CBS which will throw out like your ITR 12680 C deduction, 5 lakhs if you claim it will say get out. A simple, a very simple tool. And which, what are we talking about? We are talking about CBS and that CBS is what? And that CBS is this. It is handling 273 lakh crores of GDP. 273 lakh crores of GDP is handled by the CBS banks, which we are auditing as true and fair. 
controls are fantastic. Banker is saying, no, 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 sir, controls are very weak with us. But the auditor in the internal control study, he says, super. I'll come back to that internal control study also. So this is the danger. And this is the reason why RBI is saying, when your auditors itself are saying, no issues in banking, why do you need bank audits? The point what I'm saying is, it is high time if we still want to continue to get the audits, we need to fill, fill and fill lot of data into the LFAR and IFC. Okay, you may say in a shorter time, um, how is this possible? Don't struggle. Just lay your hand on the branch inspection report. Just lay your hand on the branch inspection report. You can see here branch inspector is writing 1144 pages. Do you agree? Whoever accidentally gone through the branch inspection reports in their bank audits, they will, not RBI, internal inspector's audit, which happens one and a half year or one year, latest report, you lay your hand on it and just weigh it, how much it is. It is more than 1,000 pages. What is all that 1,000 pages is talking about? Branch is very good. Is it talking about branch is excellent? No. They are writing negative comments. Why that comments are coming out? Because the CBS is not able to handle it. The internal control system is pathetic. And you sit in the lobby in that branch and speak to the old age people coming there, they'll tell, what rubbish is this? I have given a letter. La latest, very latest incident, I think one week back, my close friend's mother expired uh, October month. Then he has sub submitted a letter for closure and all. Suddenly, uh, in the month of February, I think, in the month of February, he got a SMS for the account linked that 3,000 rupees is credited. Then uh, he's a chartered accountant, well-versed with the IT technologies and all, and RBI circulars. Then he called, sincerely called the branch management. He said something, uh, 3,000 rupees credited in this account. Kindly look after it, look into it. He said, no, now audit, we are very busy. And he said, okay. He has written a letter quoting all the master circulars, data integrity related circulars, so many circulars are all that he has quoted. Next day morning, uh, a DJ has appeared before his house. And he said, sir, you have written so many things, what happened? Then he asked him whether your internal control system is fast or don't ask. We will give this 3,000 3, rupees. We are taking it back. <laughs> I told her, why 3,000 rupees gift has come? Why you have to? No, 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 no. Point is, there are internal control violations, left, right, and right. And every month you take randomly some newspaper, you'll find RBI has levied penalty on this bank. Why, sir? Controls are weak. Okay, so coming back to what we are saying here. Sir, controls? That is another area. That's entirely a different area. That's entirely a different area. Coming back. Okay, now come back to the uh, integrated work papers where we are talking about how to find out what is related party. So, through a simple data, we are able to find out the related parties. Okay, next. next. In the same file again, in the same file again, in this column, if I can filter cash withdrawals, which is mentioned as self, which is mentioned as self, and if I can total all that, for 40,000 rows for 70 accounts, it is coming to 124 crores of cash has been withdrawn in one year in one branch. What do you say for this? It is loan accounts. We know very well that sanction letter clearly says cash would not, will not be allowed to withdraw. Related party transactions should be at arm's length. 
Where is the complaint? Is CBS controlling? No. So if it is not controlling, where are we reporting? That is the issue. You are saying, yes, controls are not there, but where are we reporting? How are we reporting? Is an issue. Is the biggest issue and biggest challenge. Okay, I'll come back to that. So what, what is that control weakness which is permitting this to happen? What control lapses permitting these deviations in CBS? Let us look into that. First thing we talked about, group. Now is this group mandatory? Is this group mandatory? No. We have not made it mandatory. Now why in tally also, why, while I am creating an account called conveyance, alt C, no, to create, alt C, conveyance. Next, fixed assets, control A, created. Like it will ask what is the uh, a PAN number of supplier, all that. Have you ever seen the our clients filling in all those? No. Similar. Meaning CBS is used like tally. CBS is a balance sheet generating machine. Ultimately generates a balance sheet. It is used for generating balance sheet. And they say everything is computerized. How much is computerized, sir? We should ask this question. How much is computerized? Is your marketing computerized? Or is CBS in CBS, is marketing computerized? Processing is computerized? Is appraisal computerized? Is mortgage computerized? We have seen agriculture land is getting... Uh, then how is it computerized? Is lending computerized? Yes, receipts and payments is computerized. Lending and receipts is computerized. Review, to certain extent, CBS. Monitoring, to certain extent. Recovery, reporting, compliances. Now how can they say it is fully computerized? First of all, how many, how many systems are they? How many softwares are they using? There are so many external softwares. What are they? Cash management, forex management, fixed assets, etc., etc., etc. How is this integrated with CBS manually? Or is there a bridge? Or is it integrated on a day-end basis? Interfaced automatically? Or a general entry is pushed? Okay. Now what is the issue with this integration? Let us see what our uh, statutory aud central statutory auditors are talking about this. Key, key audit matters. Key audit matters. Identification and of performing and non-performing advances involves establishment of proper mechanism. We know this. The bank accounts for all the transactions related to advances in CBS. We know this. Which identifies whether the advances are performing or non-performing. It says which identifies. It should identify. Why? Master Circular 2020 RBI says Every day NPS has to be marked automatically. From 1 7 20, 21 onwards, every account should be marked for NPS automatically without manual intervention. This is a circular. And 2022 auditors are saying this. They say further, if it is identifying, why is this another software coming here? NPA classification and calculation of provision is done through another software called CCDP. Not only that, they are saying NPA classification and calculation provision is done through another CCDP application software. It doesn't stop here. 
they say and other processes what is this other processes is this clear is this completely computerized is np a system study is a system done okay now they say the carrying value of these advances may be materially misstated they are saying maybe it is possible it can be materially misstated when if they are not if either individually or in aggregatory they are not aggregate they are not complying with the norms properly followed not materially misstated the public documents itself say that these are the deviations when rbi inquired carried out the inspection they are saying these are the deviations in npa totally there are 45600 in divergence in psu banks in npa now is it system driven can it be system driven first of all can it be system driven especially in cc accounts when these things are possible i have circulated this in the uh, uh, notes i am not reading out so because of these issues that system is not auto detection in cc accounts is more dangerous term loans is somewhat easy okay come back again so we are here so we are asking about whether the system will identify the groups easily no we have found out we have carried out and we have ensured that system cannot find out this one issue two second issue is cash withdrawal okay i'll just take that loans part of cash issue only yes yes you can see the screen cash exception limit debit and credit nothing is controlled here nothing is mandatory here and you leave this just like that 1 lakh crores of cash can be deposited and withdrawn deposits yes you can make withdrawing from loan account should not then you should lock this it is not locked why because it's not mandatory and how are you finding out this how is that you are making this comment that this is not locked because you made a data analytics on the loan accounts to see that huge cash withdrawal meaning that root cause is cbs the cbs is the root cause and this is the control deficiency which is enabling huge cash withdrawal so where should i write this where should i comment this in the lfr lfr where lfr mis so this is a place where we have to say furnish your comments on data integrity including data entry checking correctness blah blah etc all this further further we have talked about cash withdrawals diversions all that coming into frauds there are four places where you need to talk about frauds in lfr fraud here this is another suspected this is here they write whether funds were misappropriated through related party shell companies fabrication of stock statements what not round tripping we have just now seen related parties we have just now seen and all these things are mentioned in early warning signal and we have seen that even in early warning signal you can see all these things i'll come back to that little later again so come back to the same point again
at the cost of repeating and boring you i again and again say that one simple excel sheet is used for documentation with data analytics black box approach through the system study and we are finding out the root cause with system studies and screen field screens and the other one is kyc is another headache let us see on the kyc can you identify <coughs> something abnormal on the screen names belong to same person names are all belonging to the same person but multiple customer ids are generated more than that this account belongs to a staff that's how the systems are working in bank you may say this last year also you have shown me this okay this we have seen then another file is that okay multiple customer ids how do we find out multiple customer ids so when we when we sort out on the name where wherein you have customer ids and at the same time if mobile number or date of birth or son of or signatory or address or pan or aadhar which is already there in the database if they are all matching that itself will indicate that they are all duplicate and you can find like this last years this year more new sense will be there reason is last year last before year banks have merged yes but this year what happened all those branches banks branches have been made into one one in that locality earlier andhra bank was there union bank was there corporation bank was there all the three branches in the same locality they have brought into one locality one premises now in that corporation bank having an account the same account is there in union bank same account is there in andhra bank with different names i am not saying this the rbi director himself is saying this rbi directed itself he is saying not very old 2022 he himself is saying this be careful with these things but they say uh, corporation bank is finical uh, andhra bank is finical union bank is finical yes my three clients are there client a is tally client b tally client c tally client a is using excellent tally configuration b is entering all all purchases sales cash receipts cash payments all is entering in jv only possible sir we could have seen some and another client is using only uh, normal accounting now all the three have merged their businesses can you say because it is tally is beautiful i have merged these businesses that's what the rational they have given for merger all the three are on the same software we have merged now but what about this and i have seen many reports we have extracted the header is different the content is different header is saying something content is saying something scheme code let me just scheme type i have just marked it just for the confidential scheme type numbers are coming here amounts 
rate of interest in the rate of interest column some content is coming outstanding balance some other content is coming here because when three different data which is not validated properly migration issues these are all migration issues coming from so many years which were not properly attended which is coming and sitting before you now and now rbi is asking about all these things in your lfar in your lfar you have to talk about all those okay so we have talked about frauds we have talked about diversions what is permitting this diversions we have talked about and okay when you are reading the screen how should you read the screen how do you read the screen for analytical purposes there are three questions i'll take you to that that is root cause analysis there are three questions I'll ask this three questions at every field what is the probability of error at each field question number 1 like say we have seen name let me just take you to this yeah name is entered here let's take say for example right okay name is entered somewhere like yes okay name is entered what is the probability like say account code okay uh, for more relevant for more relevant this account code is entered here what is the probability that this there will not there is a possibility of entering a wrong code here so instead of writing clcca i will write any other i'll write any other code possible right this is happening today sir we are certifying msme what is the probability that the msme loan is attached to a non msme we are certifying so many certificates on msme is it possible yes because at the time of enrolling him as an msme later on he has gone out of msme because of the turnover because of the investment limit now you know that as per now it is the wdv as per the income tax investment values meaning suddenly earlier it was an msme now it is no more msme but still the account is attached to it whether the cbs controls it no so what is the probability question number 1 what is the probability of error creeping in while writing this yes there is a possibility if this wrong code is given whether your whether your financial statements will be materially misstated yes if so what is the controls what are the controls in the standard operating procedures to prevent the occurrence of this error is what we need to ask at every field how many screens not more than 20 screens which screens only loan and lc we have seen 95% of the frauds and errors in this so on those screens let someone in uh, in our office let someone in the office sit on those screens ask these three questions and make a note on these conditions and try to relate that to the ifc and that is what is ifc is so having talked about this ifc you, here itself you can here itself you can see here occupation paper and products whether this is automatically the moment you write the name it comes here or someone is entering it is what we need to understand you know there are so many schemes like
like a bank employee is given a computer loan at a discounted rate of interest. Possible? Whether the same product can be given to a non-bank employee? Yes. It doesn't differentiate because the master and the product doesn't sync together. So these are the questions that we need to ask in internal financial controls. Having talked about internal financial controls, which we will be reporting, I'll take you to that process and stock statements. Two things are left out. With that, we will close this session. So I'll take you through the internal financial controls for gold loan, for gold loan, which is a small component, but still you can understand how much depth in these products and possibilities. Now, this is the process flow chart for gold loans. There are 15 processes which are given here. All the 15 processes are mentioned here. For all the 15 processes, what are all the risks have been provide, given here? I will not read out all this. Okay. So, let us see now. First process. First process. Receipt of application. Receipt of application. Is this manual or CBS? Manual. Don't know. First itself. This is what we have said. Is marketing covered in CBS? No. So is pre-scrutiny of application is CBS or manual? So like this, if you go on doing, there is only one process in CBS. That is account opening in CBS. That's all. So what I am not, I am reading out the statement given by a banker. Now, let us come back to various processes. All the 15 process I will not read out. I will take out only the first process. Actually risk IFC internal financial controls should be read with risk control matrix. Bank has to prepare risk control matrix. So this bank has given risk. This bank has given control and a matrix which talks about what can go wrong. Okay. So this is none other than the three questions what I am talking about. The three questions is brought into the format of an Excel. This is the essence of SA315. This is the essence of SA315, which we are saying in our audit report. In audit report, SA700, we are saying that I have conducted this study. Of course, control A, control C. This is where in SA700 I am saying I have identified and assessed the material misstatement. I am saying I have obtained the understanding of internal controls. I am making this statement and this is the evidence for it. Okay, coming back. So now risk identified with this color. What is risk? Incomplete, inadequate, incorrect documents can be possible at the application stage. Bank has recognized possible. If so, if this risk occurs, how does it look? It looks like unavailability of required documents, KYC is not complied, gold ornament take delivery letter is not there, DP note is not proper, negligence on the officials. This is the risk. So what is the control? bank says the control is they have a standard operating procedure to collect all these documents when at every transaction level when this control daily weekly monthly because there are 15 processes now each process has a time schedule right 
Now, is this manual or automated? Manual. Is this preventive or detective control? Banker is saying not applicable. This is a banker given document. Then, is this maker and checker or automated? Maker and checker. Manual. Now, up to this it is controls. Now, if at all that insufficient, ineffective documentation occurs, occurs, bank is saying, don't worry, it will not affect my profit and loss account, assets or presentation, not applicable. Not only for this, for all the 15 processes, you can see not applicable, not applicable, not applicable. And our auditors, sorry to say, in the last column, they say, yes, 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 yes. We concur. Of course, there is nothing for me to say. Tomorrow or day after, we get the bank audit appointment letters. Today is 27. 28, we'll get it. 29th, that fellow will call. Sir, all your LFAR is already filled. Sir, my LFAR is filled? Yes, filled. I have not done any document. Don't worry. Last time, the auditor has done it, no? Last time, auditor has accepted. Oh, is it? Not last time. 30 years, this is what is happening, sir. Hence, RBI has said no more bank audits. Then IFC, look at, this is the perfect, this is the perfect format for internal financial controls, risk control matrix. Look at one bank, how they have given it. They are saying, process, sub-process, control. Where is risk? I am only talking about risk. Control. Control for what? No questions asked. Why? Because he has already filled this auditor's response. One bank is saying, one bank is saying, risk description, control, auditor's comment, branch head comment. Sir, like this, each bank each bank has become Brahma itself and creating their own world now. RBI has permitted each bank board can decide whether to appoint auditors or not to appoint. How much to be audited? They are Brahmas. Thanks to the RBI. Now it is, it is for us, it is for the 1 lakh or 40,000 or 50,000 chartered accountants. It is for us to decide whether we should get bank audits or this should be a last bank audit. Now, sir, how should I report this now? I have, now I have branch inspection report. I have branch inspection report, which is written in 1,500 pages or 1,000 pages or 800 pages. Let me take each point. Let me take each point. Limit is not commensurate with the turnover on the account. Which master circular is violated? Come back to early warning signals. Early warning signals. Limit is not commensurate. Meaning what? Significant movement in inventory, turnover is not, in, not increasing. Receivables increase, turnover not increasing. Like that, so many things are there. And we have seen here even substantial related party transactions. Movement of accounts from one bank to the another. Sales not getting rooted in the bank. I'll demonstrate that also. And if all these things are there, the RBI is saying, or I comment this about it in the LFAR. We have just now seen how to comment on early warning signals. Sir, what I am saying is, in this year, especially this year, while you are making a report, while we are making a report, kindly take out some hard patience to write down the master circulars. Where is that list of master circulars? To read 1,500 pages of institute guidance note for fee days doesn't permit. But we can get all those into one place. 
all master circulars relevant for branch audit. Now, how is it relevant to? How is it relevant to each one? While we are making a report, while we are making a report, yeah. while we are making a report, is it possible for us to make LFAR comments referring to the paragraphs of, like when, when the GST and income tax authorities make an assessment on the client, they invariably refer to the sections. So why can't we have this system so that the quality will enhance 150% with one shot so that the branch or the RBI will not have anything to say about our quality. <laughs> Instead of saying simply that limit is not commensurate. <coughs> now what is the source for me? I need not do any bank audit. Just lay your hand on this. Just lay your hand on this report convert this into master circulars and take it into the LFAR into the respective place. This much if we can do, I am sure for next 100 years bank audit will not go anywhere. If all the 40,000 chartered accountants speak single language other than yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, I am sure we will get it. You all know that 15% of the audit is carried out by Central auditor, you know, I have, I have just stopped it from here. Key audit matter. We have seen this key audit matter. And what is that say, they are saying for that? They are saying we are relying on the statutory branch auditors. How much? 15% is the audit carried out by the central statutory auditors. If total branches or eight, if total advances are 80 percent audited, 15 percent is done by central statutory, 65 percent is done by branch auditor. If that branch auditor's quality on IFC is filled up, you can see here, yes, 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 he has already filled in. what is our role sir so coming back to we have talked about the internal financial controls I have shown you enough to report and last but not the least the stock statements nuisance let us see and then we'll close this yeah stock statements I suggest you take a template like this. I have covered even in the last session here. You take a statement like this, a template like this, and let one article student, of course, they are not available now. You have to do an archaeological survey and dig out where they are. Of course, even after 20 years, you don't find chartered accountants on this earth because there are no article students now, no? from where they will come. Okay. So any resource you hand over this stock statement, let them fill only this much content, not anything else. Let, let them fill only this much content, enough. Rest of it is all linked with formulas to talk about quality of stock. Generally, they, they carry out the out of order status they will show here because the stock statements are manipulated only. No, I as a chartered accountant in a bank audit, I am sitting this side, after this side, that side, no? We know it, everyone. So, I know how this is. Now the quality here, if raw material by stock, consumables by stock and finished goods by stock, if you calculate the quality, 50% of the stock is consumables. Why are you lending money on consumables? which you cannot sell in the open market, which is already having a margin on it. No one will buy in distress. So this is one quality issue. Whether CBI talks about this, CBS talks about this,
known. Now, debtor's opening balance plus sales minus closing gives you collection. Collection actually deposited in CC account, summation, credit summation is 7,000 uh, 7, lakhs and 10,000 lakhs is technically. But what happened to this 3,000? Is this because of wrong statements provided? Or this cash is diverted into another bank? Either of that he has to accept. Right? Next. Cost of goods sold can be calculated from the data provided. And sales is given. Now you can calculate margin. It is 7%. Whereas while making the appraisal, you have accepted 40% as margin. And the 7% is not even sufficient to cover the bank charges. And how will this be performing asset? Debtors in days, creditors, stock in days is always greater than 90, 120 and 180. All this is ind indicating early warning signals. All this is indicating early warning signals. You may say, sir, all this is theory. You show me whether you have done it last time. Seeing is believing. So we have done, uh, we have got this only this much filled up and this much analysis is possible. And which, which CBS will not do. Sir, first of all, RBI is talking, uh, first of all, you have so many early warning signals, which is a risk. Whether these risks are covered in internal financial controls, in this, I'll challenge, nothing is covered in these. And that we are certifying. If some of the risks are not taken care, it is for us to say, the internal financial control risk control matrix is not covering majority part of these risks highlighted by the master circular X, Y, Z and all. And hence we are unable to express opinion on the controls. Nothing will stop us. But these are the languages that has to be used by all the 40,000 chartered accountant firms to put pressure on them. They are putting too much pressure on me, sir. Sir, we are partners in nation building. I'll complete in two, three minutes. We are partners in nation building. Someone will come to file a return for ITR one, two, three, four. He doesn't pay anything. But still I go ahead and pay. I am not looking at input and output ratio for every service. But am I not helping the government in filing the returns? But why don't you compensate me? You rob the banks with 65,000 crores for every election. Politicians rob them. Farmers rob them. Advocates rob them. Chartered accountant rendering a service, you say cost effectiveness is not there. Hence, close all the bank audits. It is high time. We all should raise our voice. It is high time. Reason is, Bank audits are not there, GST audits are not there, income tax audits are going. Where will this profession go? Where will this profession go? So it is high time that we should raise voice, not by shouting like auto rickshaw unions and all, but by demonstrating the quality in, in these, and it is very easy to demonstrate. So it's high time. Thank you very much for your uh, patient listening. <laughs>
this is a command that you need to use to generate that restructuring. This is a command, but this will generate for account holder wise. You need to enter into the account holder, then ask for how many times it is restructured, then you will get that. But yeah, yeah. not for all the accounts globally in that branch, how many accounts have been restructured during the period? No report. Ah, but uh, RBI mandate for restructured accounts, health code should be 12. They have made it mandatory, sir. Yes. So that the health code 12 list, if you generate, we get the restructured account list branch wise. Those accounts can be examined more, more uh, in detail. Yes. For knowing the out of order uh, status. No, I'm RBI saying, see, there are two, two ways of entering into. One way is take all this take all these reports what are given here, enter into CBS, and most of the reports are given to go into a particular account and generate the data. So that is a big task. Three days is not sufficient. So what I have done, I said whatever reports you have, all those reports you take for 12 months. Yes, sir. Those accounts which are not reflected, you will... Get, get it also. Yes. Yeah. This is very easy, so no? Uh, it's a shortcut. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you will get the pulse of, in no time you will get the pulse of it. Okay, that's correct. Yeah. So that is what it is. So finally what we have said, we are using one Excel statement. We are using one Excel statement to comply and to validate. Yes, sir. So the question is this entire exercise can be done by the central auditor sitting in, uh, sitting, sitting before the commencement of the branch audit. He can identify the entire uh, suspect accounts, send it to the branch auditor, look into these accounts in this branch. We don't have to spend our time, you know, in uh, thing. And the institute has come out with a beautiful uh, just software just two or three days back, utility. Excellent. And we, uh, see, there's no question of giving a audit report on true and fair. The central auditor has just had to give a nice checklist. We have to fill up whatever he wants us to see. And that will be our documentation. That will be his documentation to support us. Yeah. Sitting down and uh, not again trying to figure out true and fair right. of web-generated right. uh, reports is not yes. correct. Yes, so sir. is it not possible for the central auditor to do it? He sir. can do it one month before correct. the entire, uh, what they say. Yes. And l only last month, he yes. can send the suspect uh, transactions for verification at the yes, branch level. If that is done, if that is done, people will lose trust on the bank because that kind of <laughs> opinions come out. And then uh, we will follow that SVB bank and then you may say it is one paise, over 273 lakh crores. That's not the issue. That is materiality to select my sample. That doesn't mean to talk about true and fair. That's a different story altogether. And this voice has to go up to see that we continue to get the audit. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, the other speaker is already waiting and T is also waiting for you. Face is the index of mind. Your face is talking what is there in your mind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for that wonderful session. Uh, you showcased the deficiency in the core banking system as well as the internal financial control in the banking system. Thank you for that, sir. I request uh, our chairperson, CA DBS, to hand over a memento to sir. Thank you, sir. Sikasa Bangalore branch is organizing a one-day bank seminar for students on 30th of March 23 at Vasanagar premises. Please make use of it. We assembled back at 4.30 sharp. Thank you.